James Hill of Rifle TV, in association with Macklin's Jim Marbell. We've got world title challenger Stephen Smith at the press conference today for brother Liam Smith, that would be a world champion defending against Saul Canelo Alvarez. Did, did you think this moment would, would happen, Stephen? Um, I did. I've always believed in Liam. I've always believed he'd, he'd reach the top. I think you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I'll always be, he's my little brother. I think uh, his talent speaks for itself and in what, he, in what he's done in his career already. But you do sometimes doubt whether he'll get the big fight. And you know, boxing's one of them sports where you've got to you've got to take the good while it's going, and you've got to, you've got to enjoy, enjoy the good times. And I think we've been um, on a, bit, a little bit of a crest of the wave where you know. Liam's been been winning and winning well, and all his, his last day by knockout, and I've been open that you not know, a big name will come. We've heard a few little whispers that it might happen. This was meant to happen last time and didn't. So, you know, the fact that we finally got it, then yeah, you know, we're, we're buzzing as a family, yeah, more so Liam. Is there anything that you've seen in Canelo that makes you confident that Liam Smith can do a job on him? Is there anything you've seen yeah. watching him like that, that makes you think yes, yeah. Liam will be victorious? Definitely, yeah. And I think you know, I think the. They're very similar style-wise. They both talk got a, a brilliant variation in the shots. You know, you, you, there's not many times you can you can sit and watch them and you'll know what shot they're going to throw next. The two of them do throw every shot in the book, and I think it's exciting for for the fan to watch the fight because the stars should gel well. But I think just little things. If we're going to pick at things, then I think you know the the weight. A lot of people think you know it's it's uh, he's only coming down a pound and stuff. The last time he, he, he made 154 was against Floyd Mayweather, and you know people seeing how he gassed in the fight. You know he he didn't. He didn't look comfortable doing the 12. Where you know, he, he has looked a lot more comfortable in, in, in previous fights where he's got it in his own in his own comfort zone and stuff. And I think with with Liam, he, he's one of them fighters where he, he's in your face a lot. Where you know he makes you fight outside your comfort zone. So it, it could be interesting to see how the how the fight maps out. But I think if he can take Canelo out of his comfort zone, then you know he, he could be found wanting in the second half of the fight. What have we learned about Canelo in fights against Kirkland and, and Amir Khan recently? What, what do you think he's shown that, that we maybe haven't seen in the past? Um, not necessarily new. He's, he's a top, top fighter. He's, he's, he's a fighter who you know, young fighters will look up to and watch him because his, his technique's very, very correct and he does, think, he does things, you know, a lot of things right. And he, he can go into a fight tactically and you can see him wearing the opponent's down and you know, he looks for the big shot where he'll, he'll set a trap and then, then throw a big, sh a big knockout shot. And, you know, he, he does things very well and he, he is someone who, who all boxers will look at and, and, and think he's good. But you know, he, he's, been that, he's been that for a while. As someone just mentioned earlier, he boxed Floyd Mayweather at 21 years of age. He's been based on the scene from, from a young age. and you know, the, the amount of fight he's had for, for someone so young speaks with itself. I think he, he's always been around and he, he's one of them fighters where I think you'll, you'll know his name the minute it's mentioned. He's probably the biggest star in boxing. Do you think the media are wrong, especially the American media, in making Sol Canelo such a big favourite? I know Liam's travelling, um, but he, he is rightly so the champion, and yeah, he's on, course, he's on a yeah. great run of eight eight KOs in a row. So do, yeah. do you think the media are wrong in making Canelo such a big favourite? No, of course. You know, I think it's a, it's a lot closer fight than what what the, what the people are saying and what the bookies are making it. But you know, I think they're only going off you know Canelo Alvarez's name. Really, he, he is a big star and. You know the the, the name list of fights that he, he he's beaten does speak for itself. So, you know, on paper Liam hasn't hasn't made that step up yet. So, you know, they can only they can only go off what what they see. And I think yeah, they, they're going to have to make him a favourite. You know, so big, I don't think so myself. I think as it was mentioned again before, people, Liam can only take the step up when he actually makes it. And you know now he's doing. I think he's going to prove prove a lot of people wrong. How big and how much support do you think he can take over from? From Liverpool, from Hoyt, and from all the yeah. areas around your way, yeah. how many people do you think will make the travel over to Texas? Loads. It seems like everyone you speak to is going to go over. Uh, they're all looking forward to the fight. It, it, it creates a big buzz in the city, and you know the city's thriving at the minute. Anyway, we've just got our second world champion in Tony Bellew, so you know two world champions in the city, and both of them are looking for big names. You know, you can you've seen Bellew a lot of talk about the maybe the David Hay fight, and you know now there's Liam. You know he's got the Canelo fight, so. It's a special time for the city and we want to keep thriving and uh, try, try and get even more world champions and just keep this buzz going and hopefully you know everyone will be out there and I'll be able to text it to see Liam win. We was all talking about potentially the Cotto fight, maybe the Canelo fight for Liam, but it's actually happened. Yeah. How, how proud are you of your brother that the yeah. fact that he, he has took the biggest possible Definitely, opportunity yeah. around? I'm, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing for him because I knew, you know, I know Liam and I know how much he wanted it, you know, we, we're in the house all the time and you know, he's sitting there saying, I'd love this one, I'd love that one. And Canelo was always a name he mentions because, you know, I think 
he likes that style. Style wise, I think it, 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 the old gel, you know, pretty, pretty similar with, with the Cotto one. The Cotto one was another name he, he mentions a lot, but, you know, Canelo haven't beaten Cotto, then it just shows you his, his aspirations that, you know, he's gone for the you know, the man that won the fight rather than, you know, trying to chase down the, the Cotto one. He did took either fight, but the fact that he's, he's jumped to the Canelo one just, you know, shows the level the kid wants to get to. Do you think beef has got the power to take out Canelo? Definitely, yeah, I think he's got the power to take out any. Any like me, it will super well to wait in the world. I think, you know, 154 is his weight category. At the end of the day, Canelo's coming down, whether it's from a pound or six pounds, you know, he's coming down to the weight and he hasn't done it in a, in a while. So I think Liam's, Liam's the natural light middle. You know, you've seen the two of them size wise. People think, oh, he's coming down, he might be the bigger man, and he's not. Liam's bigger than him. So it's going to be interesting come up fight night. You know, he may, he may be heavy in the ring, Canelo, but. You know, I think size-wise, stylistically, I think it comes in with a shout in every department. Thank you for your time today, Stephen. Can't wait for the fight, and yeah, I yeah, can. wish wish you and your family the best of yeah. luck. Thanks Thank a you, lot, mate. James. Thanks.